Hey guys, welcome back to Quantum Break. In our last episode, um, we we saved William. The burning question I still have, though, are will we will we get a chance to um, save Beth? And uh, what happened to Martin Hatch? What where's that guy running around? And I see Dr. Kim's still running around. We haven't dealt with him yet. I think. Uh, hmm. There, there's a lot of a lot of loose ends to be tidied up yet. Anyways, guys, if you are enjoying these Let's Plays or any one of my videos, a like would be definitely appreciated. Um, the way YouTube works, likes, dislikes, comments, all that stuff makes a huge difference. And since I'm, you know, a really small channel, I definitely could appreciate, or I definitely would appreciate any help you can give me as long as, as, as far as a subscribe or comment or share even would be awesome. All right, guys, let's get to it. Been looking forward to playing this all day. I think we must be really close to the end though. Jack is um I think he's pretty much full power right now. I, I might have one or two upgrades to get yet, I'm not sure. Uh, whoops. Uh, where am I? Okay. There's a door over here. I ended last video, um, All right. through here. Just when I was supposed to go out and. We Nick. can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get sucked into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh-huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. Hey, buddy. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the kind of measure, keeping it safe. Oh, oh. Me, those are the guys I killed in the first uh, first mission when I got that dash ability. She was. Uh, that's pretty cool. Ah, I see. Come on, this place isn't safe. Man, I hope I don't have to protect him. Oh, I hate that in games.
The only problem is if he would have unfroze her there, it would have screwed up the whole previous timeline. I, I'm assuming, you know, because she, whatever, was working the whole time with him up to that point. Need some elevator music here or something. Good grief. <laughs> these, these loads, man. started my work, you were so young and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. Okay, we're in 2016 again. Wait a second. here you really never used it yourself no I didn't dare not after the men came out it was Paul he tried to kill me <clears throat> damn rusted shut Jack a hand When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there, then used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. Oi. Increase power, time shield lasts longer. Kind of strange, I never upgraded that. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want this guy's power bill. Wow. Just the way I left it. Hope it still works. Yeah. All right. We'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure. Before the fracture to stop time permanently. I don't know. I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of 
course they'd be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window, when we know it can work, but before time actually ends for good. There may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know they stole from me. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. Oh, All right, well, that works. This is amazing. All those years, I never imagined that it would be like this. Crap. Hang on. Uh -oh. oh man. What the hell is I know shooting those does something, but it. Uh, I forgot what it was. That. No, 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 no. Whoa. Oh, yeah, here. First fire pistol, bad idea. Hey, that's like my favorite gun. Yeah. I'd like to find some ammo here or restock. Okay, I got turned around here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm like, what? What? Sorry, my ear itches. <laughs> what? Stop! Okay. <laughs> okay, I hope that didn't go in the mic. Oh. 
I have a feeling this is going to be challenging. Oh, 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 don't go in there. Whoa, where are you? Whoa. I don't know if they're killing me if they're draining my my energy because each both of those make your dude go red you know your low health you go red man I hope I can kill this guy fast I don't want you guys to have to watch this over and over again No, that was annoys me. You know, you get you get the boss fight, and then it takes you a while to beat him, so you get to see the awesome uh, cutscene 50 times. We came to be here. Can I skip this? He's done. No. What's going on, Paul? You look fucked up. My ear fucked up, Sam. You took the CFR, Jack. I took it back. I don't care how messed up you are, Paul. Okay. Okay. I guess you can't skip it. Thank God. I like that gun. Oh, what? Oh, I can't jump over. Oh, really? Okay. Woohoo! Oh, that didn't work. It seems like they're throwing some kind of Cronon grenades or something. Oh, it's the favorite at parties. Yeah, that sucks because they can, they hurt me pretty pretty good. I know he's. Oh, I thought I had another uh, burst. Oh, okay. Self. Don't use. Don't try to use three bursts in a row. I, I think what happened was that uh, that dampener hit me and drained some of my energy. I'm looking for that uh, SMG I threw down. I think it's over here. It's back in here. Might be a good place to run and hide later. I must have despawned. Yeah, that hallway might be a good place to uh, bottleneck them. Goes out here, they can they can hit me from every side. You know, NPCs always have perfect aim. Okay, hold B to skip. <laughs> Pro tip. Still has to... Oh, I don't think I killed him. See if that uh, bottleneck plan works or not. I don't know. 
Unless they bottleneck me. Oop. He just left. Another one. Come on, boys. It's it's safe in here. Oh, he hit me with that dampener. I don't know if it's killing me or just taking my power. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that protects me. Lets my health get back. Oh. He went out. Ow. It's kind of BS right there. Drain me through the wall. Oop. Uh oh. I gotta go out now. I really don't want to use up my, uh... Ooh. Thanks for the new gun. I'm not... Wasn't sure where he was. So I'm guessing that they must help to drain my health. I thought they just drained my um, my uh, power or whatever, but uh, looks like they drain your health. I don't know if that's a good strategy or not. Might actually just be better off, you know, running back or just keep moving in here. Generally speaking, that's what they want you to do in this game, as far as I can tell, anyway. Okay, guys, attempt number three. Forget Will Jack. Okay. I actually didn't mean to do that. Put my health regen here. Oh. I will still go keep going through this tunnel though. I think this is a good place to regen your health. Maybe get a little bit of a uh, damn, or not. It's kind of BS, man. Oh, oh this is gonna suck. Sorry, saying that out loud. <laughs> I'm just thinking it. Ah, uh, where do you go, man? We'll just pick up the gun, dude. It's not that hard. You don't think there are that many of them. They just do so much damage to you. It's so actually, to be honest, is where my gives, my eyesight gives me a disadvantage here just because I can't quite see them as maybe soon as other people could. So I'm just trying to find them here. Where is... 
I don't know where they are. Okay, they're across the way. Guy behind me. My hearing's actually really good though. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of there. Oh, draining my power. That is nasty. Come on, dude. Maybe a fully auto is better. Whoa! Running. Running away. I don't know. Wow. What? Ah. Where? Where is he? Eh. Holy cow. Okay. Ah! Okay. Now's my chance. I'm totally missing where he is. I think that's him. There's so much glowing crap in here. Dude! Ugh. This is so... Uh. Wow! Shields down. I know it is! I don't know where he is! I know you guys are watching this going, he's right there, he's right there. That him up on top? Maybe he'll just die on his own. Oh. Okay, so if the ultra wave hits you, you die. Oh no. My bad, guys. Oh man. Looking for a resupply here. I know there's one right here. I, I just couldn't tell where he was. There's all these bodies laying around and they're all glowing. It's like, good grief, man. You could at least remove the bodies or, you know. Right, we'll get it. If I can kill this <laughs> first wave again. Okay, I'm getting it memorized here. Oh, I couldn't do it to him. That's just wrong. That was a poorly timed reload. Nice. Get off the thing, dude. Whoa.
Forget Will Jack. Uh, yeah. Reload bag. Oh, yeah, the grenades are going to be coming pretty soon here. Whoop. That sucks. That happened pretty quick. Fuck, the shield's down. What? Ah! The X told me to go up there. Sounds painful. He's vulnerable now. I don't know where he is. I don't know. I can't see him at all. Where is he? Oh, is he up on top? Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, this. I'm gonna die. Sorry. Uh, Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. Now I know where he is. I was like, I cannot. Now's my chance. See where this guy is. Don't mind me, dude. I'm reloading. Oh, great. More slappies. Okay, I feel better. I was like, oh, what is going on here? Whoa! Please don't die. Thank you. Oh. Get frustrated. Yeah, time to move. Yo! Wow! Holy cow! Serious here. Whoa. Yeah. Not a fan. Hey, come on with. Oh. Come on. Woo. Come on, dude. Regen your health. Ah, oh, man. They're going nuts with those. I'm just trying to stay alive at this point. Just hit and run as much as I can. Thank you for oh. aiming for that. Uh. Damn. Problem is I can't stop because they keep throwing those grenades. Oh, come on! What the hell was that? Oh, heavy gunner. Oh, man. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, this is
This is brutal. No checkpoints, huh, Remedy? No checkpoints. Well, the good news is hopefully I can do it a little quicker this time. Those grenades, man, I don't know. They just... Uh. And this space is so annoying. Like, why put this... Oh, you can't... Uh, I couldn't jump over that before. Like, okay. Maybe in combat. Of course, me slamming my head off it from Sprinty or whatever it's called. Alright. Let's see if we can do better this time. Getting a... Get in a habit or a feel for it, I guess. I try using that a little bit more. See if that works better. Here comes the the grenades. Especially nasty. Last thing I want to do is run out of ammo. It's ridiculous. Look at that, I just stopped for a second to kill that guy and they had a grenade on me already. Maybe I should try something else, I don't know. Okay. Probably not the best place to be right now. Oh! bit easier now that I know what to do. Oh, that wasn't good. Please don't kill me. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's going a little quicker now. Hopefully there's not like nine waves of this. I still hate those grenades, man. I wonder if I... Yeah! Maybe I should do shield instead. I'm not sure. Come on, dude! Not a... Ah! I don't know. Maybe I should have stunned him. I should have got around that big guy. I'm not sure. Maybe I can do shield and um, Will, Jack. stun at the same time. Because I'm I'm stunning them and then I'm still taking damage by from the other guys. Maybe if I stun them. I don't know what happened there. I thought I stunned him. Get out of my face. Shoot. Where's he at? Okay. Oi. Oh, 
know what he's pissed off about. He killed my lady, tried to kill my brother. What? Arrgh. Okay. Stop it. That's my cue. He gone. Yeah. That heavy. Come on, what the? What are you doing? Having all this crap around <laughs> definitely makes it harder. <laughs> Nothing to see over here, guys. Oh. That heavy, man. That's. Go get it. Woohoo! I really oh hope he's dead oh man dude some nasty get go time to move yeah time to move Time to heal. Gotta move. Man, ooh, and in here. Come on. Whoa. I know one thing, I will get better at this. That would be smart if I took, if I uh, put B on my elite controller here, then I could hit B and shoot off this, this stun at the same time. Whoop! Good grief! Oh, he's doing another one! Ah. No, 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 no. I don't know if I'm gonna make this one. Wow! Come on, people. Uh, okay, he's just gonna keep doing them. Okay, that should be a... Uh, he's... Having hemorrhoids. Oh, die! Please!
Never mind. Tell me later. We got work to do. I'll have to hook up the countermeasure to the core. It's designed to hypersaturate the Maya Joyce field with proton particles. The time machine's like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Just make it happen. Jack, give me a hand with this. Anybody else have the feeling he's not dead? What do you need? The countermeasure's charge is low. We'll need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. countermeasure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. He's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Will. The countermeasure worked. Whoa. The countermeasure burned out. One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you. Wow. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I don't want to hit any buttons just in case there's some kind of, you know, um, clue or something at the end of the uh, end of the credits here. You know, I heard people complaining that that boss fight was, you know, hard at the end, but 
I mean, obviously I died, I think, three or four times, but it wasn't like it was impossible or anything. Now, <laughs> I, I, I'm seriously not, I'm seriously, uh, have a little uh, hesitation about trying to do it on hard, but, I don't know. I think what worked was, um, when I switched to stunning them and then put up put up the uh, defensive bubble at the same time that's what made the difference because before I would stun them and as I'm shooting the dude the other guys would be you know shelling me from all over the room so once I did that it wasn't it really wasn't an issue anymore I think one day we're going to look back at this game and uh, we're going to realize how special it really was because there are not a lot of games that try and do something like this, you know, where they're just really trying to tell a story and they're using every possible mechanism you can think of to, you know, make the story real to you, including getting, you know, Hollywood actors. I wouldn't say A-list, but you know, good actors, and actually putting in live, a live TV show in there, even to make you connect with the characters even more. I remember, uh, like uh, the Call of Duties when they when they first came out, like Call of Duty Four and like Three and stuff like that. They used to talk about, you know, they used to hype up their single player, and they would say, "Well, you know." Um, we're we're really building character development now the dudes have names <laughs> it's like uh, end of the game you don't even remember who was who anymore ah it was that guy with the Italian accent that was the guy with the weird helmet you know and I, I don't know you kind of identify them we're here they're like okay we're not even gonna bother with that we're gonna just make sure you know who these people are So now my question is, in in this playthrough I, I made all kind of the hardline, you know, evil, just extreme choices like, okay, we're not going to do propaganda, we're just going to kill everybody, you know. And uh, the next playthrough, I want to do the opposite of that. And I'm just curious to see, does it affect gameplay at all? Does it affect the outcomes of the game at all? I, I don't know. I'd actually be really surprised if it does. I know that it there are like the eight live uh, TV episodes. There are um, four hardline ones, and then there are the four moderate line, or I don't know what you'd call them, ones. So I'm really curious uh, to see what happens. I know um, I heard a few people complain that this game, because it doesn't have any multiplayer, you know, elements to it, that it, it probably wouldn't be worth the purchase. Honestly, I think it is definitely worth it, considering that you get this game, you get you get two playthroughs. You have to do pl two playthroughs if you're going to find out, you know, the different points of view. And then you also get Alan Wake plus the two um, DLCs for it for free. And if you were lucky enough to pre-order it, you also got a uh, Alan Wake American Nightmare, which I don't know to me was <laughs> a little freaky, but uh, so I think the value is there. Um, now, if you know, I I'm coming from the perspective that. This is like one of my favorite things in games as far as a game that, you know, endeavors to tell a story and do it really well. You know, where it's one of my favorite things. Now, I know a lot of people are, they could care less. 
it, it drives me nuts when I'm playing with people and they're like talking over the cutscenes and stuff. It's like, dude, I want to hear what's going on. Um, but if it, like if you're if you're that type of player, which I can understand, this game may not be worth sixty bucks. I'd say for sure it's worth forty five though. And if you're a multiplayer guy, you know you're. <laughs> there's nothing here for you. Uh, as far as achievements go, I think I think they do give you a fair amount of good achievements just by going through the game. I would be kind of disappointed if they don't have a. Uh, something at the end here, some kind of teaser or something. If I remember right, I think they announced this game... Was it at, was it at the Xbox One's launch in 2013? It might have been, so they've been working, they worked on this game for like at least three years. I know in Remedy probably four. They're not the fastest developers, but obviously they they care about what they're doing and they make sure it's excellent. Okay, I don't think it was going to show anything. I Oop. You've been very patient with us and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well, that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. Right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious. And we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. I'm guessing that last screenshot was essentially just like uh, Paul Serene had where he made choices for Monarch. Really cool. Well, anyways, guys, that's Quantum Break, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And, uh, hey, if you did, I definitely would appreciate a like, a comment, a subscribe. And if you're really generous, a share would be awesome. And uh, I hope to see you guys or... You know, communicate with you guys in the next Let's Play. Um, right now, my first priority is uh, going through Quantum Break again with the with the other choices just to see if it affects the gameplay at all. Uh, I'm debating in my my mind if I want to try and do it on hard. Uh, I don't know. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, stay awesome and thanks a lot.